Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. What's up? My name is Noah and of course Ben is at work. First time in forever, you're gonna see me with a fluffy jacket on. It is cold guys. You cannot believe it. It is cold. Um, right now it is, let me quick check my phone, it is 73 degrees. It is coldish, that's 23 degrees Celsius for anybody that is watching from outside the United States. And we have a tropical storm warning. That pretty much means it's just raining right now. Some part of Houston it is flooding. Um... Let me check that back on Fahrenheit. Um, so today's video, first of all, we're filming back from um, my desk. Back to the same thing. Quality still the same, guys. I'm going to update you guys when I have a new camera for right now. If you still see the same setup, the same quality, just figure it out that I still didn't have my camera yet. But today I'm going to make um, some video, uh, I'm going to make a video about stereotypes about Israelis. So I already did one about Swiss people um, that you can see down below. I think I, I'm going to link it down below or you can see it in all my other videos. Please subscribe to see all my other videos. And I have it all down in one list. It's going to be around six um, stereotypes. For all Israelis that are watching this, first of all, um, I was in Israel a lot of times. I have Israeli family and so on. Guys, please don't take, take it easy on me, please. Okay? Don't take it, like, a lot of things are true, okay? Just chill <laughs> and take it funny, take it easy, because some of those are really, really true. Um, I was in Israel for around three to f three years and lived there for a good amount of time and that's pretty much it. So let's get into this video. So, stereotype number one. I get this a lot, not going to get too much into it. Israel is a war zone. Not going to get into this too much because it has to do with politics. I'm not the one to talk to about about it with politics, but Israel is a small country, but big enough. So, um, so let's just say Israel is like this big. Right here is Gaza. That's usually where the whole mess is happening. Um, the biggest mess. There are sometimes there's war. And there are a lot of things going on. Usually it's around there. So guys, when you hear sometimes, make sure that you don't just get your information about from just from one source. Like get it from different sources. Because it's not always 100% from that one source is not always true. Like get it from different sources and make sure that the source is true. That's it. I'm done with that. Politics. Israel is not always a war zone. And it's a wonderful, wonderful country. Okay? I have lived there for three years. And nothing happened to me. I'm still alive. I'm living. My whole family is living in Israel. And I have wonderful friends in Israel. They're all living. Thank God. Nothing happened. The, and the country is still, like, here. Like, so, um, stereotype number two, Israelis lack of manners. What I mean by that is Israelis are very, very, very comfortable. They're comfortable from different cultures. Um, they, different cultures, they like smash together and... For Europeans or from or Americans, they they come together. They had they grew up differently, and Israelis, I think they're very very. Like I don't know for 
I don't know an example like you may, you grow up differently, you grow up in different cultures like for example in and like I know a story that my father or my mom used to tell me like she was like in parts of Asia for example there is a place where if you don't burp, for example, or don't or don't like let out gas, that's very offensive if you don't do that at the table. But now, when you're in like um, Switzerland or when you're here in America, you would fart at the table. That would be like very, very, very disgusting. Like you would not do that. So it all depends where you are in different cultures, and I'm not saying that. Amer that Israelis are like farting at the table or whatever but be open minded to different cultures and that's what I'm saying and a lot of people say they lack of manners but they don't lack of manners they have manners just like be open to different kinds of countries and different kinds of they all grow up differently it's like you go to different kinds of households you grow up differently Three, Israelis are loud. So, I used to joke around with my friends that Israelis need a hearing aid. Because, imagine, let me take my phone for example. Imagine this is a table. I sit at this um, side of the table. Somebody sits at this phone on the side of the table. And they just scream at each other. And we used to say, oh, so... They have a hearing problem because they would always scream, but it's also, it's like the way how they interact, it's a different mentality, it's, it's just different, the way how they grew up is like, it's, they're not screaming at each other, it's not like fighting screaming, it is the way how they interact, it's a different mentality, and you will also see that as soon as you go to Israel, and I'm not putting Israel down in any kind of way. I love Israel. I love Israel as a country, and I would go back. Definitely, I would go back. Then, number four. Israelis are super rude. Israelis are super friendly. You have two very, very, very extremes. So, first of all, if you hear this, this is my chair. I need to fix it. I need to oil it or something. But I hear that very often. They're like, oh my god, I had such a bad experience in Israel. Or I had the best experience ever in Israel. It depends. First of all, it depends where you're going. It depends with who you went. Like, it depends so many things. Israelis are very, very, very direct. They don't care. They do care, but like, they're very direct. So they don't really... They're like... In Hebrew, the word for it is tachlis. And tachlis is like very direct. Like, you, for example, it's like a very minor expression, but like, you have, like, you don't, I don't like your shoes. So I'm very direct. I'm like, I don't like your shoes. Or, but, or in a positive way, like, I like your hair. I'm like, oh my God, I love your hair. Like, they're exaggerating in both ways. So, they're, like, either super rude. They're not not super rude, but, like, they're rude. Or they're super friendly. So, they have either bad experiences or good experiences. And it always, like, depends. Like, it also depends on the person they interacted with and so on. But they're very, very direct. Number five is another a little bit of politics. But also not. So it is all Israelis go to the army. That's not true. 60% of Israelis go to the army. For people who um, just join in or don't know Israel at all, in Israel, um, women and men, they go to the army. And so women serve now they're trying to put it up to two years and a little bit more. Uh, but it's around two something years for women and two something for men. So it was like three years for men. 
two years for women, three years for men, and now they're trying to meet in the middle so they can serve the same amount of time. And it's only 60%, so they thought they think like everybody needs to go to the army, and that's not true because you have religious people and Arabs that it's still optional that if they want to join the army. And then number six, they have their own sense of time. And what I mean by that, that is very important for you guys, for anybody that wants to come to Israel, has family in Israel. So they have their own sense of time. Like, you want to be on time. So I grew up in Switzerland. In Switzerland, everybody says Switzerland, they are on time. And it's true, you're on time. Americans, you're on time. Israelis, you're on time for work. Um and so on, but like when you are more, I'm talking about more like leisure time, so more free time, um, you get there when you get there most likely, like I had a friend that I said, okay, let's be there at three, I was there at three, I was even there earlier than three, and um, I was waiting for him, and he was there around 4, 4.30ish. I'm like, where are you? I'm like, yeah, we said we met around 3. He was talking about the round part, and I was there. I was, I was talking about the 3 part. And he was like, yeah, around 3. So it's really important that you, like, specify. Um, and it's like... It's like, you need to, like, make sure that you're talking about saying you need to be there at 3, like... To, to be 100% sure because you also don't want to stay out in the sun too long and so on and so on and so on and so on so it's it's like a time difference like I had fa I have like family where like so I am like a time guru like my family is making fun of me that I'm like time 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 like you say we leave at 1030 like 1031 I start freaking out because I have anxiety so 1031 or, like, if we were, like, five minutes late, I'm like, oh, my God, it's, like, stressing me out. But my family does not understand why it's stressing me out. And it's, like, I get anxiety, very bad anxiety from it. And, like, we're five minutes late. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And they don't understand why. So, I also, now that um, I live when I live here in America and I also got together with my now husband, his mentality and also like my mentality, I just didn't know how to word it correctly then back then, but like his mentality, also from the army, we all both learned from the army, was like, if you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. If you're late, don't bother to show up. Like, it's not going to help you. So, like, that was, like, a more mentality kind of thing. And that's pretty much it. So, like, there's so many more stereotypes on Israelis or on other thing or on other people. If you want me to do any other more stereotype videos or learn more about me, about my experiences in Israel... There are some videos that I did when I lived in Israel, um, more in my videos below. Go and subscribe that you can see all these kind of videos or um, just like subscribe that you can see all more upcoming videos. You can comment down below or DM me. I'm going to put my social medias down below or on the end of this video. And comment, like for this video, subscribe. And I hope you really enjoyed this video. And that's pretty much it. I love you guys. And hope you had a very nice day. Or you're going to have a nice day. Depends when you're watching this. I love you guys. And see you in my next video. Goodbye.